Hi boys and girls! Welcome back to the Parsha studio. In Parsha Shkalim, we learned that each Jew was commanded to bring a machatzis hashekel, a half shekel coin. In honor of this, we are going to make a special machatzis hashekel craft. Here are the supplies that we will need. A piece of black cardstock, three types of silver cardstock, a printout of the portrait of a Jew, a clear plastic sheet, a circle hole puncher, or a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a half dollar coin, a glue stick, clear tape, and black and silver permanent markers. Let's begin. We have three types of silver cardstock, a glittery piece, a mirror-like sheet, and a shimmery piece. We are going to make a whole bunch of coin-like circles from each sheet. If you don't have a circle puncher, use the coin and pencil to trace circles on the back of each sheet and cut them out using scissors. Otherwise, use a circle hole puncher to cut out circles from about half of each sheet. So what's the deal with the half shekel coin that each shoe had to bring? Let's explain with an example. Imagine you set out to build a house. First you'd have to find a piece of land to build on, and then create a building plan. Next, all the necessary supplies would have to be collected, and then you could start building. But imagine you forgot to build a foundation for the house. It might look beautiful and strong, but the first windy rainstorm could knock it down. Or, let's say you built a foundation, but left it with no roof. You might think you can manage without it, but when the first rainstorm comes, everything gets soaked. You come to realize that each part of the house serves a purpose and it's essential to making the house complete. Use the glue stick to glue each circle to the sheet of black cardstock, making sure the silver side is facing up. Place the first set of circles in one row. You can choose to put them in a specific order, such as we did here, or you can choose a pattern of your own. For the second row, lay each circle in the space between the two circles from the first row, as shown, kind of like a pyramid. Doing it this way will cause some of the circles to stick off the page, but that's okay because we'll cut them off at the end. Keep gluing the circles till you fill up the whole sheet. Next place the clear plastic sheet on top of the printout of the man. Make sure to keep the sheet in place so it doesn't move around. Use the black permanent marker to trace the outline of his face, neck, and each part of him. Then color in whichever parts are meant to be black. So what does the example of the house have to do with the machatzis hashekel? In Parsha Shkalim, which we read this week, Hashem asks Moshe Rabbeinu to count the Yidin using a special method. Each Jew had to give a machatzis hashekel, a half a shekel, and by counting the number of half shkalim, Moshe would know how many Yidin there were. But why specifically did he ask them to bring a half shekel coin and not a whole shekel? This is where our example of the house comes in. Every part of the house is needed for it to be complete. The same idea applies here. The half shekel reminded each person that he or she is not complete without another, without every other person. Although others may not look, sound, act, or dress the same as you, every single one of them is needed for you to be complete. Next, use the silver permanent marker to color every other part of the man, such as the space between the yarmulke and his hair, the skin of his face, his ear, his neck, and the top of his shirt. How do you think you might treat another person if you realize that without him or her, you are not truly complete? Do you think you might be extra sensitive and kind the same way you would be to a family member who you feel more obviously is a part of you? Or when you notice their skills and talents, instead of being jealous, maybe you come to realize that their gifts don't take away from you but add to you. This can be hard to see or feel. It's not always natural, but it's good to practice thinking about it. Once this is complete, check if the silver coins have dried. If they have, carefully cut off the pieces that are sticking off the page. Then place the clear sheet on top of the beautiful background of Machatzis HaShekel coins and secure it with tape. Your craft is all done. I hope you enjoy it and of course, find a good place to hang it as a reminder of the message of the Machatzis HaShekel. We'll see you next week.